bright duty. Every student matters. The first question says, complete the timeline with information from the text. So you are given with five years and you have to uh, tell that what was, some, what was so special about that. So, in the year 1918, Dr. Talmurun A.O. was born on the 28th of January. In the year 1938, it was the first year of his intermediate science in Cotton College. 1948, he represented the country in the London Olympics. 1956, he was the assistant surgeon in Bodhana. And 1978, now although in your book it is written 1968, but that ought to be correct. It should be 1978. So, in the year 1978, he became the director of health service. The next question says answer the following questions briefly. First, mention some of Dr. K. Uh, Talamiran A.O.'s impressive personality traits. So, on the very first page of the chapter, we had read about the traits that made Dr. Talamiran outshine others. We read that he was 5 feet 10 inches tall. He was always barefooted. He had a booming voice. His behavior was very refined. He had a pleasing personality and he was very articulate. He was very expressive also. Now what was the fortunate thing to have happened to Dr. Talamiran? What was the lucky thing that happened in his life? It was lucky that his football skills, his caliber in football was recognized at a very young age. Not only the people of his village, but also the American missionaries recognized his football uh, you know, skills and they motivated him to proceed further. And how did this help him? This certainly helped him. We have read how Dr. Talamuran made everyone proud, this country proud, he brought laurels to the country and he was a person who proved that academics and sports can certainly go in Dr. Talamuran was proud to be a Naga and wanted to uphold their reputation. How do you know this? Uphold their reputation means to make somebody feel proud. So how do we know this? Obviously, we read, you remember that incident when Dr. Talamuran, being the captain of the football team of his college, uh, the Cotton College, he was supposed to go to Silhet to play the football match. But he had his exam. He did not wish to miss his exam because according to him, his failure would not only affect him, but would affect his people, the people of Nagaland, his village. And he did not want to disappoint them. He did not want to do anything that would affect them in the wrong way. And thus, he was ready to not go for the football, uh, football match just for the sake of the reputation of his people. Okay. How did the principal and the professor of Cotton College encourage Dr. Talamuran's Cotton career? So, how was he supported? How was he encouraged? We all know that his principal and the professor of the college were very keen on sending him as the captain for the football match. Although, he told them to find his replacement, but they said that he will not take a no for an answer. They, obviously, this professor exempted him from appearing for his last exam. And as soon as they won the match, the very next day, although the official result was not announced, but Dr. Talamiran was declared as having passed his How did Dr. Talamiran's story of being a headhunter spread in the area. So how did this rumor, how did this story of him being a headhunter spread? After he had won the match, after they had defeated 
the Murari Chand column. The people, the his opponents basically, were obviously not happy with it. They had been winning that title for the past 13 years and now suddenly that was taken away by them because of Dr. Kalimur. So they had spread that story. Moreover, they were always in awe of his personality. This word has been used in our story a couple of times. So they were very surprised by the kind of personality that they knew of the Kalimuran man. He had a good physique, he was wonderful when playing football. So they were very curious to know about him as well. They found his personality to be very enigmatic. It was a mystery to them. And therefore, the story of him being a headhunter. How did Dr. Talamuran get the national recognition? So, how did he get the national recognition in the year 1972? I'll show you that paragraph. So, 1972, he was a member. He was elected as a member of All India Council of Sports which is a very, very rare honor, which is given to only a handful of people. Why was Dr. Talamuran given the title of Bear for the Genius? Why was he given this title? In the year 1948, during the London Olympics, when Dr. Talamuran was able to prove himself, was able to, uh, you know, show to the world how brilliant Brilliantly, he played. It was in that year when he got this title. Although they did not win the game, they did not get the reward for it, but he, along with his team, had a great impact on the people of the world. And since they used to play the matches barefoot, so he got the title barefoot. What is the lesson that we learned from Dr. Talamarin's life? Now we've learned a lot of lessons from his life. He surely was an inspiration for each one of us. He taught us how with courage, determination and with focus we can achieve anything and everything. He was not only a brilliant footballer but a great academician as well. You know, he was a doctor, he was the director of the health services. So, he has told us that yes, it is possible for us to fulfill every dream of ours, provided we have the courage for that, provided we are ready to work hard for that. So, this is what he has taught each one of us. So, now the next one, think and write, it says that the achievements of Dr. Talamaran not only as a talented sportsman, but also as a bright student. Proof that academics and the co-curricular activities can go hand in hand, they can be taken place, they can take place simultaneously. You have to justify with few more examples of the famous personalities you have heard or read. So, from the internet, you have to find about similar people who prove to you that academics and co curricular activities can be placed side by side. The next question says Dr. Talamuran A.O. was one of the pioneers of Indian football. He was the captain of the Indian football team in the first official match in 1948 London Olympics. This ace footballer from the Northeast was also in the 1950 World Cup team. The Indian team was barred from entering the tournament just because they played there. He has a very important place in the Indian football history. So in order to commemorate his birth centenary, century means the lifespan of 100 years in the year 2023, the government is calling for ideas. So that his contribution to the sport inspires the footballing generations to come. How Dr. Talamiran's life can be, you know, can prove to be an inspiration for the next generation. And the last question 
is about Madame Tussauds, which is in London. We all know it is a museum wherein the wax statues of all the famous personalities are preserved. So, according to this question, we have to write to the director of Madame Tussauds, stating why Dr. Talamurin is actually a very well-deserved candidate to be placed in the Madame Tussauds. And with this, my dear students, we come to the end of this chapter.